Thank you, sir, and welcome everybody. Hope everybody's having a fantastic start to the day. Sounds like you've already gone through a couple of sessions with some good content to give you a bit of a you know idea on where you can use Sun Life to grow your business. And obviously, for the next kind of half an hour or so here, the goal is to try and teach you the same from an edge perspective. So, I wanted to start off um, by kind of walking through a few different points on on what we're really going to talk about today. I'll kind of go through what we really mean by digital marketing what that is and, and kind of how it works. We'll talk a little bit about why the Edge product solutions are the right fit, especially for that type of digital marketing um, and how that fulfillment engine that we've built. And then I'll kind of give you guys a, a demo of how that works and, and why it's something that we think is going to help advisors grow their business down the road as well. We'll do a little bit of demo, as I mentioned, kind of walk you through what that looks like from the client's perspective, and then a little bit of an idea on how you can actually get started with it and how you can make some money with it as well. So essentially what we're talking about when we talk about digital marketing is how do we get your name and your content and the products that you can you know, help advisor, sorry, clients with um, in an easy way and in a technologically advanced way so that it's simple, it's straightforward, and we utilize technology to make that easier for you guys to essentially be in front of a lot more people without having to spend the individual time with everybody just to get that initial awareness. So we're going to talk a little bit about associations, but that's really not the only opportunity for digital marketing. Essentially, what we're, we're using this for in, in the initial stages, at least, is to be used for any large group of people, whether that's church group, whether it's a sports club, any any group of people that, you know, has some sort of a common tie where you can use that to obviously go in and, and have access to a larger uh, database of clients or a larger breadth of clients. You might have any number of, you know, life or investment clients that you want to run some sort of a living benefit campaign for, or maybe you have a group of contractors that, you know, don't qualify for long traditional long-term disability. There's a whole bunch of different opportunities for it. And we'll try and go through kind of some of those at a high level to give you an idea of, of what that looks like and where the opportunity might be for you and your block of business. So what, what is digital marketing from our perspective? Essentially, all we're trying to do is use technology to enhance your existing marketing activities and grow your business. And one of the things that, that you know, we hear from advisors more than anything is that they want help in growing the business, doing the prospecting, finding clients, right? How can we help them from that perspective, especially once you get to a certain point in your career where you feel comfortable guiding a client along, you know, the financial planning process or, you know, closing a sale or making sure that there's going to be a right fit between a product and a client's need. Really, the challenge is how do we get, how do we find those clients? How do we get those solutions in front of them? So basically what we've done is over the many, many years, we spent, you know, countless hours and, and lots of money on building a platform that allows you to reach a lot more clients or potential customers and obviously saving time throughout that process by automating some of that enrollment process or that initial kind of information um, collecting stage. So Assuming that we can put together some sort of a well-crafted message and we can help with a lot of that because we've got it kind of stocked and tailored and we've been playing around to figure out not only what's the best message that, you know, gets the highest open rate that attracts the most attention from a client, but also, you know, what is what is it that's going to actually hook that client in? And, you know, what time of day does it get sent out? All of those different things that, you know, again, are going to lead to a higher success rate for it. Essentially, what we want to do is, you know, help customers learn about their own risks and what solutions might be available to address those risks. We want to be able to allow them the ability to kind of do their own research, whether that's full on quoting and purchasing on their own time, or you know, just a matter of them going through and, and understanding and then maybe picking up the phone and giving an advisor a call. We also wanted to build something that allows them to go through and do it kind of fully automated on their end without necessarily the advisor involvement while the advisor is still getting kind of full commission and full credit for it, the same as if they submitted the application as well. We don't ever want to cut that advisor out of the picture. So we're never going to go, you know, as far as we can tell, there's definitely not um, the need for a direct to consumer product. I think, especially in our industry, the advice is the big component, right? I think insurance is, is sold and, and not bought. And I think a lot of times, even using a tool like this, we see that the client goes in, does a little bit of information digging, understands a little bit about what the key terms are and why they might choose one option or another. And then they reach out to the advisor to go through any questions that they might have. So over the last couple of years, the Edge has been exploring, in particular, that association market 
we're starting to see a lot of success there in a variety of different groups of individuals with some sort of common element there. We think the reason for that is because a lot of our coverages are designed specifically to benefit the needs of an association. And then we have that that self-enrollment software that kind of doesn't exist anywhere else in the uh, in the marketplace. Very, very unique um, and kind of new in that regard. So we think that's why we're starting to see a lot of success in that. And we wanted to spend a little bit more time kind of digging in on that. Obviously, when we're talking about working with an association is we get access to the membership, right? Not every member is going to have the same needs or the same interests, but it's a little bit of a challenge for an association to partner with insurance companies that want to offer a one-size-fits-all solution. That doesn't really work. It has to be very, very customizable, very flexible. Make that issue even worse is that a lot of insurers need 100% enrollment in order to put a plan in place. And obviously when we're talking about an association, it's most likely gonna be something where it's more of a voluntary enrollment type scenario. So what we've kind of heard and what we've gotten as feedback from advisors is that they couldn't find some sort of a product or solution where the association members could optionally decide to enroll and not maybe not everybody in the association needs coverage or wants the same type of coverage. So we wanted to be able to give some flexibility there and that's kind of, I think we're well positioned to do that because of the guaranteed issue nature, because of the simplified issue nature of our products, but also because of the flexibility of the way we've designed the, the our products and the tool uh, to kind of fit, fit that need. And obviously that's why we're, we're talking about it because we think we fill that need very, very well. All kinds of different associations out there. It's just a matter of figuring out which one makes the most sense for you. A lot of times it's something that you have a personal tie into, right? Maybe it's somebody that you know, maybe it's an association that you're part of, maybe it's something that's a family member or friend. So something that's, you know, maybe it's a health organization that's, you know, related to a medical issue that somebody in your family has gone to, right? We're talking about all kinds of different groups of people, whether they're professional associations or things like chamber of commerce, boards of trade right? You've got labor organizations, a lot of different health or welfare groups, religious organizations, athletics, you know, polit political organizations in one angle or another, uh, all kinds of different scenarios where you might find a group of people that have a, an element of commonality. But again, you can target um, for your services and use kind of that digital marketing platform that we've built to take advantage of. So really what we want to look for is some sort of a personal or a business connection to that decision maker, right? If it's a board member or a director, even better, because obviously that's going to potentially get you into that conversation with the board or the directors to say, hey, is this something that we might be able to explore? Is there value for your membership to having access to those um, solutions, right? And that's what we're trying to figure out. Obviously, that there needs to be a need, right? There's, you're not going to add value if that group doesn't need the coverage that you have. In a lot of cases, that need is there. It's just us kind of positioning or pitching that value to the board or the directors. Obviously, you need the membership to be able to afford the coverage, and that's got something that's going to be important kind of throughout the process. The location, you know, you've got to be life and ANS licensed in whatever area that that uh, association operates in. And then when we talk, talk about that marketing apparatus that you can tap into to promote the coverage to the membership of the association. So that's where the Edge digital marketing platform kind of comes into play and how we can utilize it to go after an association and hopefully uncover a whole lot of opportunities for, for our advisors. So why does the Edge fit in well? And I think I kind of touched on this briefly, the fact that our, our products and our programs are very, very flexible. They're guaranteed issue for the vast majority of our products, meaning there's no medical underwriting, there's no medical questions, very, very straightforward um, from that perspective. And they're affordable, right? So that, you know, make it simple, make it flexible, make it affordable. And, and it allows you to fit in a lot of these group scenarios where it's not going to be the perfect fit for every member of that association, but it's something that you can customize and tailor to certain individuals that might have a need or, you know, have particular interest for one of those areas. When we talk about affordability, part of that is the fact that our rates are very, very stable. We tend to have by far the lowest renewals in the industry on our products that do renew on an annual basis, like our health and dental policy is an example. Um, and then we don't renew on the, the claims of a group, right? Rather than taking a look at that association and assessing that association a new price next year based on claims or based on experience, we're looking at 100% nationally pooled claims. So everybody across the country is basically treated as one big group. 
whether we have, you know, a handful from one association, you have a bunch of individual policies, you have a handful from a group benefits policy, they all get pooled in. And we look at that entire block of business as one big group on an annual basis. We blend smoker and non-smoker rates, again, just for simplicity and kind of ease. And the way we do our cost structure typically in a lot of cases allows for lower rates at younger ages, which again, just allows us to, to take care of those, those markets a little bit more effectively. So why is it the right engine? What does it do that makes it unique? Um, what, where does it fit within it? Uh, we, we like to say that there's nothing really like it in the living benefits market. And that's true, which is, which is a nice thing for us to be able to have and to tout as kind of having something very unique. Kind of walk you through how that works and what it looks like, but essentially by using these campaigns and, and different tools that we've designed and built specifically for this purpose, digital marketing allows you to grow yourselves right? Obviously, first to grow your reach. And as, as, as a lot of us in, in sales would know, the more people that you talk to, the more likely you're going to make a larger number of sales. So we've got a number of different strategies to kind of utilize. Um, we'll basically help you create a marketing campaign for you to reach out to a large group of potential clients. Obviously, that end product is yours to kind of customize, tailor as you like. If there's anything we can do along that process to help you, Again, we've kind of built this whole platform, you know, with no cost to the advisor so that they can take advantage of it and manipulate it to their benefit so that they can use it to grow their business, right? So very, very unique in that way for us to spend all this money and time to build something to help advisors grow their business for free. Obviously, our goal is hopefully that that also grows our sales as a result, but a very, very unique in that regard that you've now got that customized marketing campaign where we have some stock templates and some scenarios that we've seen have worked for other advisors. We might recommend or suggest, hey, give this a try, try it this way, whatever the scenario is, we're going to try and set you up for as much success as possible. But the idea is that we want it to be completely customized for you to have your logo, to have your colors, your look, your feel, your messaging, and then have built into whatever the, the campaign strategy is to have a self-serve online application that allows clients to explore, quote, and apply for benefits 100% self-serve and 100% online. We find that they're most effective when they're actively promoted by either the association or the group, either through a website or a quarterly newsletter, because then again, it's coming from a source that they're comfortable with, that they, you know, they're looking at and they're opening those emails or they're making sure that you know, they're reading that content. So rather than coming from somebody that they don't recognize, obviously being actively promoted from within, either as a page on the website or as, as we mentioned, the, the quarterly newsletter or some sort of an email blast to specifically announce it. Generally speaking, we find those have a higher success rate. And then the advisor obviously gets the benefit of those campaigns, hopefully minimizing not only enrollment times, but the number of clients, clients that you can engage and having that work for you 24-7. So even when you're sleeping, you know, your clients have the ability if they want to be on there uh, playing around and, and buying something potentially, or at least preparing quotes and figuring out what that looks like. Um, that's obviously something that we want to be able to help our advisors work smarter, not harder. So essentially how it works in that campaign is that we'll provide customizable email template. We'll put together, you know, the wording on, hey, why it's important to look at that type of coverage. We'll incorporate your company logo if that's something that you want us to do, anything else where you want us to customize it. Again, we've got kind of the imagery and the key messaging about the benefits of whatever feature product and why we think it's important. But obviously, we're always open to, to modifying that. And at the end of the day, it's your, your name that's going to be on it. So whatever you feel comfortable sharing, the, the kind of final customizations rest with you. We'll work with you to kind of help you, you know, have that campaign be as successful as possible by building a, that unique link for a particular campaign. So that link is going to be connected to your advisor code. So that that way, obviously, it's going to be directed back to you when it gets sent to a client or they go through there and purchase using that link. Um, it's a little bit different than I, I've actually had a conversation with uh, an advisor on something similar who's done a lot of you know uh, search engine optimization and marketing techniques to grow their business. And you know their biggest concern is that, well, if you build this whole process and the client goes on and uses your link, well, what's to stop them from getting a little bit of information and then two days later or a week later or a month later, whenever they decide to go around to actually purchasing it, they just go directly on the company website and buy directly through the company and the advisor doesn't get any credit. That doesn't exist in our realm because we're never, we haven't ever built a direct-to-consumer platform. So the only way for the client to go through there is through either that link that you've provided them or for you to submit an application for them, either 
in paper or online, right? Nowadays, I think we're pretty much exclusively online, um, but it allows that kind of loophole of, of, you know, just having that link to be an intro, not potentially leading to sales that are being leaked out in other areas. So essentially where we see probably the, the most success is that email to the client, to the prospects using the template that we've provided and that you've custom customized. Obviously, we want to have some sort of a time bound restraint to that. So we find that typically if you put, you know, some sort of draw to urgency or you have, okay, it's only two weeks where this offer stands or whatever it maybe is. And then maybe we say it's two weeks and you send a follow up email 10 days later, indicating that there's only a few days left to take advantage of the offer. We typically see the most response kind of on that, uh, either the initial email or within a day or two of that follow-up email, because people maybe thought, oh yeah, this is something I want to look into, left it in their inbox, and now you follow it up again with that you know, time-bound email saying, hey, only a few days left. That's usually when we see the biggest uptake as well. The other opportunity for those of you guys who are really, you know, I guess, effective at prospecting, or you're really in that stage where you're, you're happy to do proactive things to grow your business, I think we've all, you know, depending on where we are in our, our life cycle of, of being in this business, you know, you start off where you're growing your business and you're doing a lot more of a proactive type approach to continue to grow business. And then once you've become a little bit more established, maybe that proactive stuff starts to fall off and you get caught up in a lot more of those reactive type activities. But if you want to grow that business, I think we all understand that in sales, the proactive content is what's really going to drive those numbers up. So what we find is this kind of unique is that uh, if you take the opportunity to follow up with a phone call to clients, whether they you know open the email or not, at least it's a reason for you to touch base and to say, hey, I sent you this customized link to that to that email, to this website where you can go in and play around. I thought it would be important for you. Did you ever have a chance to go in there and take a look? And we think that's hugely valuable is that it gives you an excuse to call for something particularly you know targeted as opposed to just reaching out to the client directly um, and trying to go through it that way out of the blue and say, hey, how are you? I thought you might want to buy some of this type of product. Obviously, if you've got an excuse as to, hey, I sent you this customized you know, email or this campaign with a link to go in and play around, did you have a chance to take a look at it? But it allows you to have a reason for that phone call. And obviously, uh, what we found over the years doing this is that the ones that do that uh, are typically the ones that see the highest sales percentage uh, from these type of campaigns. And then obviously, if if there's a scenario where you know you don't get a chance to connect with the client or there's a client that you didn't want to contact, you save them for a future campaign. And what we mean by that is that you can set up a link specific to a product. So you can have, for example, a disability link, a critical illness link, a health and dental link. And obviously, you're going to either gear those towards specific part of your client base or market them a particular way on social media whether you're going to try and you know track those and use remarketing and a whole different whole kind of different realm of other options with that it allows you to have multiple campaigns over time and maybe even to repeat a campaign later on down the road so let me kind of walk you through a couple examples of campaigns and what we mean by that obviously when we're talking about you know a campaign where we're sending out to an association or some sort of group that's trying to provide extra value to their members what, is that, what does that look like? Um, so maybe that's a group that's been declined because of family content or the type of industry. Or for example, we've had one, you know, some recently where they're a group of people that have gone through the same medical condition. So they're, you know, obviously they're tied in because they, you know, have, have gone through a particular diagnosis or whatever it may be. But that also means that it's much harder for them to qualify for insurance. So that might typically, you know, line up well with our guaranteed issue products. Maybe it's a group where you have some workers that are contract or that they can't be part of that kind of traditional group solution. Uh, maybe they're part time, maybe they're seasonal. There's a lot of other kind of groups that you know normally wouldn't qualify for that type of coverage, but they aren't an issue on our side of things. So really giving you um, some more options and some ways to use those campaigns to reach a group that's going to have a particularly high level of interest because of whatever reason. Obviously, you know, with a group that needs 100% participation, right, or mandatory enrollment, you're not going to be able to fit that uh, a lot of different solutions. And obviously, if you need flexibility, as opposed to just providing a flat amount of coverage, we want to be able to accommodate that and, and kind of make it fit. So this is a kind of some sample of the, the emails that we've used over the years, where, you know, okay, we're going to add in the company logo, we're going to put a little bit of a blurb in terms of the messaging on why it's important and why we're reaching out. 
We're going to have a hyperlink that gives them an opportunity to get some more information. We're going to have that call to action button where they can actually go in, get a little bit more detail and, and run themselves a quote and kind of go through that process every step of the way to show them, hey, why are we asking for this? Why is this information important? How is that relevant to this particular product? Kind of go through all of those different steps uh, and allow them to do that at their own pace. Obviously, we're also going to have the advisor's contact information, you know, their name, phone number, company name, email, all that sort of stuff. So what we find, again, a lot of times is the clients will go in there and do a little bit of research. We all know that nowadays, you know, in order for a client to buy pretty much anything, typically what we're going to see is that they're going to go on Google and do a little bit of research either about the individual or about the product or about the service and try and get a little bit of a base understanding of what it is and what's a good option. You know, it's very rare nowadays for people to just go to one store. Usually they're going to, you know, go online and see and find to find it where they can get the best price, right? So kind of the same idea, allow clients to do a little bit of that self-directed research. And most often what we find is they're then reaching out to the advisor to kind of finalize the process and ask, hey, what would you recommend? And that's really where the advice component comes into play. But utilizing that technology and that uh, digital marketing campaign allows you to get that phone call or allows you to get that kind of need awareness from the client's perspective that you can capitalize on and help them with. So as I mentioned, I wanted to go through kind of a quick demo just to walk you through what that looks like. Essentially, what happens is that when the client you know, goes in and accesses it, obviously, they're going to receive um, that that email from us, right? In our case, this is an example using a real estate association with 2,500 people. The association wanted to offer an optional benefits plan. And we've actually done this for a few real estate brokerages across the country. Um, so in working with the board of the directors, we agreed to start that health and dental campaign in Q2 of last year. The agents could select the level of coverage that they wanted with kind of eight different plan design options from everything from the absolute most basic to kind of a fully upgraded plan. And then the future plans for this campaign particularly are what to offer disability and critical illness down the road. So we built that messaging that's going to come through the association through, it, through internal email and include that association included it on their monthly newsletter. They posted it on a section of their website, kind of allowing agents to go through, learn a little bit more, get a quote and purchase coverage on their own. The internal incentive for any agent that takes advantage of the offer in the next 30 days was also there. So they had sort of a, a, a little bit of an incentive or a little bit of a push to help kind of initially get that, get things rolling and get some of that uh, optional enrollment starting in the early stages. Then we kind of go into, well, this is what that content looked like, similar to the emails we were talking about before with the logo, with their you know HR director's contact info, the link to the advisor's website, and that call to action button. When they click on that call to action button, again, it's gonna look very similar, but in a much more modern way to how we typically run a quote, where we're getting the client's date of birth, right? We're going through the process of selecting the product that we want, the different options that we want, you know, in terms of health and dental in this case, is it single, couple, family? Do they want one, two, three upgrades? What's the premium associated with that? then obviously they can kind of add that to their cart, proceed assuming that they want to go ahead with it, actually go in, plug in their personal information, continue along through the banking, all of their details for, a again, a fairly straightforward um, online electronic application process, and then for them to go in and actually be able to activate it and sign electronically and put that coverage in force right away. So really, really kind of unique to have that ability for clients to go in and kind of do that themselves, right? To have the access to do that. Um, I think once the client goes through that process, the, the next step to kind of be aware of is that the client's going to get an email confirming receipt of their application for insurance. That processing, typically we say 10 business days, usually it's more like five. Client's going to then get an email with all their policy documents. Coverage for most products are going to take effect right away. For health and dental, it's always the first of the following month. And either way, again, we're talking about very, very quick turnaround. Clients got access to all of their policy documents through an online policyholder account. And then you as the advisor are obviously notified of the sale to log into your Edge portal to view it and view any of the policy documents as well. Obviously, we want to make sure that the, you know, the advisor maintains their duty of care by reaching out to the client to let them know that you've reviewed the application, that everything looks good, kind of ask them if they have any questions, you know, maybe get some feedback on how the process went to see if you can customize your campaign in any way that might lead to a higher uptake with that group down the road. So really, really trying to fine tune that process and make it as effective as possible, not only for the client's perspective, but also from the advisor's perspective. So if that's something that makes sense, I guess the, the short answer is, 
give us a shout. So whether I'm your sales director because you're a Mississauga Brampton or you work with any of the other edge sales directors across country, uh, if you're not sure who that is, feel free to reach out to me or anybody else on our team or just contact edge directly. We'll make sure we put you in touch with the right person. If you have an association where you think there's an opportunity, you know, you've got a group that's maybe been declined for whatever reason, you have a group of contract workers or clients that need kind of some additional guaranteed issue coverages as top ups. Obviously, we want to make sure that we're applying, uh, complying with the Canadian anti spam legislation uh, when offering products for sale. So we got to keep that in mind. But really, we see kind of a lot of opportunity to take this and, and grow your business pretty drastically. So your sales director, you know, whether that's myself or one of my colleagues, will walk you through the process and help facilitate to help you, you know, figure out where the opportunities are, how you can capitalize on it, assist you with the strategies, make sure we optimize the results of that campaign. And then we'll put together a, a digital marketing request form on your behalf to actually make that happen. We'll set up either an email template, social media imaging, a link on the website, whatever makes sense for your campaign. But really, we want to try and help you guys grow your business as much as possible. So lastly, I just suggest that you guys think to know, you know, think about it, maybe write down if there's somebody that came to mind while I was chatting today, where you might have an opportunity. Chances are what's going to happen is we're going to get the, the details of the folks that attended and we'll have somebody reach out to kind of contact you to see if there's anything we can do to help whether a phone meeting or an in-person meeting makes sense to discuss this or anything else from an edge perspective. And then we can take it from there. With that, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys at IDC for having me on. And thank you to everybody for taking the time out of your day to attend the session. Hi, Doug. There was just one I thought we would just quickly answer. There was a question here. Is there a minimum number of cases that need to be sold in a campaign? Good question. So no, not really. Obviously, the more the merrier. Um, the only kind of requirement with regard to that is sometimes we have campaigns or groups that want to pool everything onto a monthly group bill and the association or the group will take care of that one payment on the first of every month and then they'll payroll deduct from the individual. In that case, we need three or more to put them on a group bill. Um, but obviously we can have individual payments if there's just one or two people that are setting it up. So it really, you know, I would say group billing starts at three and then you can go from there. Um, and Doug, if you would like to put your uh, contact e information in the chat would be great. Sure. And in the meantime, thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you everyone for signing up and joining us. Doug will put his uh, contact info in the chat. We'll also, it will also be available on our website.